Hello again, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Today what I want to talk about is speech delay in little kids. Pediatric speech delay. There are a ton of kids out there, especially these days. We know that the autism spectrum disorders are on the rise. In fact, it's up to about 1 in 40 kids these days. Many of these children are missing neurodevelopmental uh, milestones, are missing uh, they have speech delay, they're not uh, forming speech patterns when they're supposed to be. And it's not just autism spectrum disorder, there's a whole host of kids out there that don't have autism spectrum disorders that have speech delay. Now I've been in practice for 18 years and we've seen well over, oh I don't know, 150 kids with speech delay and some of you might find this incredulous, but I, we haven't had a single kid with speech delay that hasn't made improvements. I believe one of the first that I ever had in was going way back to when I first got in practice. It was actually uh, my secretary's kid. In fact, she is now a chiropractor here in Los Angeles. But she got under care and then she brought her son in who was about three years old and he was nowhere near the normal uh, speech um, milestone range. And he was corrected and within a day or two his speech started to come around. So how, how can these sorts of things happen? How, how can a chiropractor help neurodevelopmental disorders, autism spectrum disorders, um, kids that don't have autism spectrum disorders that have speech delay or aren't crawling on time or they aren't sitting at the right milestones, they aren't walking when they're supposed to. Now, one thing I would like to say, every kid is different. Every kid develops at a different rate and sometimes they're a little behind and they're completely normal. But there's certain areas like when if a kid is three and a half years old and they're saying mom and dad that's it or they're a year and eight months and they're not crawling or they're a year old and they're not able to sit. These are warning signs that there's something going on. Now from an upper cervical chiropractic standpoint, the central nervous system is the seat of control for not only every function in your body, but it is the seat of control for neurodevelopment. So as kids develop and they learn to crawl and they learn to sit up and they learn to walk, those per particular milestones are all directly influenced and under the control of the central nervous system. And one thing that can delay or inhibit kids' normal development is upper cervical misalignment. So for those of you who do have kids, you know that there are all sorts of things that can happen long before they walk that can damage the upper neck. In the first place is birth trauma. When a kid is either a vacuum extraction or a forceps delivery, there's anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds of force that happens in the upper cervical spine. And that can be one of the precipitating factors that uh, is the underlying cause of kids with speech delay and neurodevelopmental disorders. And what happens is when there's a great force that is used to extract the kid uh, during delivery, the head-neck junction is a very susceptible area to injury and that type of pressure can cause the top vertebra of the neck to, to misalign and become locked. And if it becomes locked, it irritates the central nervous system and it causes the coordination of the central nervous system not to function as it should. So what we find in these kids with speech delay and other neurodevelopmental disorders, we run them through a battery of tests to A, find out do they have an upper neck misalignment and B, if they do, is it C1, is it C2, is it C3? Most of these problems are C1, I'd say in the 90 percentile because that's the most vulnerable area for the reasons we discussed. Um, but our goal is to find out exactly which vertebra is off, how is it off, how do we very precisely correct it back in its normal range of motion to get the pressure off the spinal cord so the central nervous system can coordinate function as it was intended to. And so once, once that upper neck vertebra is corrected and it's back in motion, the patient is checked uh, regularly over time to monitor whether the vertebra is staying in position or it's re-misaligned. Now, because there is ligament damage and soft tissue injury, there tends to be um, repeated misalignment. Although kids stabilize about 10 times faster in adults because it hasn't usually been there that long. And so follow-up care to make sure that things are 
still in motion, there's no pressure on the cord, is what allows these children to develop uh, more normally and function better as they uh, continue with care. So if you are listening to this video, you have a child that is two and a half years old, they're not talking. You have a child that's a year and two months and they're not crawling. You have a child that's four years old and they're talking but they're not where you know they should be. It's possible that this upper neck misalignment is involved. So if you're interested, our office, we have two of them, we offer a free consultation. Our Los Angeles uh, office, phone number is 213-399-7772. And our Carson office number is 310-324-6172. Uh, if you're outside the LA area, you've come across this video on YouTube, it's piqued your interest. You have a kid that's uh, not doing what you know they should be doing, you're looking for someone in your locale, you can call either one of those numbers and we'd be happy uh, to find you an upper cervical doctor in your location. Thanks for listening. Hope this information was uh, educational and it will get into the hands of those who need it. Thank you.